Hello, I'm Charlotte and this is Books and Bargains. Today I'm coming to you with a hot flush because despite the fact that it is minus 50 degrees in my house, I'm having a hot flush and my lighting doesn't help but it looks festive so let's just roll with it. Today I'm going to you with a charity shop haul and I haven't done a charity shop haul in ages but me and Tom had the week off this week and we managed to pop into quite a few charity shops. We decided that when we went out to do our food shop and when we went out to pick up takeaways we would go at kind of three, four o'clock in the afternoon and the places we went were generally empty, which was really nice. We'd both said from the start that if it looked too busy, we wouldn't go into any shops. But yeah, it's been nice to go out and support the charity shops a little bit. I also popped into the Leicester Hospital's charity shop and I also went to the Loros Reuse shop, which is at the tip. We had to go and take some stuff to the tip. So... Let's get into it. I'm going to split this up. I was into books, homeware and clothing. So if there's only one of those things that you want to watch, I'll leave timestamps down below for you to skip ahead. So let's start with the books. So one of the books that I picked up was Sue Moorcroft, The Christmas Promise. Now you can see how sparkly this cover is. I have been making a really conscious effort not to pick up any more Christmas books. Um or stories in general because I have so many to read. However, I had started this one on Scribd and I was really loving it. But my free trial was ending and just for me at the moment, I have borrow box from my library where I listen to audiobooks. So for me personally, it just wasn't worth the money to sign up to Scribd. And so I was really sad that I didn't get to find out how this one ended. So when I found it in the British Heart Foundation for £2, I saw it like a sign and brought it home. Also, while I was in the British Heart Foundation, I picked up Last Christmas. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm really into these kind of short story collections that I can dip in and out of. And this was one that I was going to buy last year and never got round to it. So when I saw that for £2, I had to buy it. The next book that I bought from the British Heart Foundation was £2.50, but I couldn't believe when I saw this in the charity shop. And this is the Babysitter's Club, Mary Ann Saves the Day, um, graphic novel. Now, I just read last week um, the first book in the series, and this is the third. So, yeah, I had to pick that up and put it away until I've got my hands on the second. The next three books were all from Bernardo's in Loughborough and possibly my biggest bargain books that I've bought this year. But first of all, I picked up Elle Wright's Ask Me His Name. Now, I follow Elle and have done for years on Instagram. Her Instagram is Feathering the Empty Nest and I'll leave it below. Um, this book is about her little boy, Teddy, who died within 72 hours of being born and this was after a completely normal pregnancy and so I always feel weird saying looking forward to reading it but it's one that I've wanted to read for a while but I'm going to put that away until I'm in a better headspace. Also in Bernardo's for £2.20 I picked up the home edit. Now I love this book. I don't know if you've watched the show on Netflix but I have been enjoying it. Marie Kondo's method never really worked for me because I felt like a lot of my stuff sparks joy and I felt like the minimalist movement, <laughs> as you can see from my shelf behind me, is not really my thing. So this one is a way of like storing things and showing off things with style. So there's a lot of rainbows in here which fits my aesthetic perfectly. I mean, look at that one. That could just be my shelf, couldn't it? So for £2.20, I had to have that one. And then the next book, didn't have a price on it. So I took it up to the till and I thought to myself, if it's any less than £5, I'm going to get it. And when I went to the man on the till, how much for this book? He said a pound and it's like, just take my money. And that is the ultimate travel list. This could have been in my Christmas presents um, video if I had it before then. I don't know why everything's so shiny today, but this is just, it's 500... 500 best places to visit on earth and I've just been looking through it and I just want to go everywhere 
that's one thing that coronavirus has really like sparked this wanderlust in me and with my anxiety I probably wouldn't visit half these places because I'd be worried about toilets and traveling and sickness and all of that but I can go there with the book and the last book I bought it's a little bit of a right let me show you so it is this one it is dress with style a look to reflect your every mood this book was first released in the 1980s and so there are some really questionable well it is it's complete cultural appropriation in some of this um i'm not going to show you let me try and show you one that's not um oh so here we go so like it goes through like the dancer style and it has these beautiful illustrations but like i say there are a lot of a lot of styles that they go through in this day that is that is cultural appropriation um but i really wanted this book like i say it was pound fifty from the rainbows hospice and i just love the illustrations you should know by now that i'm a sucker for illust fashion illustrations in a book now onto homeware. This one is kind of in between books and homeware and it's this bullet planner kit. I've wanted to start a bullet journal for ages to track my habits and things but it seemed a really big outlay if I didn't get on with it but this one has an entire kit with the bullet journal, stickers and a guide for how to lay out your pages and this was 2 99 from the British Heart Foundation so I thought I'd give that a go and then if I get on with it it's something that I will happily invest in. At the Laros Reuse Centre I picked up this massive pasta bowl and this was £2 and it's something that I've been looking for for ages and it's hand painted and I just really love it. I do need to give this one a clean but for £2 I wasn't going to leave that behind. And then for 10p I picked up this little glass bowl. I'm a real sucker for anything pretty like this. And no, I didn't need it, but it was 10 pence and I will find a use for it. I picked up three Christmassy bits for my home this month. And the first is this Disney blanket. It's so soft and it's just covered with Mickey and Minnie. And this was, I think, £3 from the Rainbows Hospice shop. Also, when I was in Bernardo's, I picked up this little statue. Now, this is a little Christmas bakery, and I'll try and show you here. I have this kind of Christmas street going on in here, and it makes a great addition to that. And then in the Leicester Hospital's charity shop, I picked up this little nativity for a pound. I really like my little nativity that is here. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't have a Mary and Joseph. So that's... Um, that's that and then I'm just going to put this here I think I think it fits perfectly on my shelves and now onto the clothing and shoes there's not going to be a try on today because I just don't feel like it but hopefully you will see these in my vlog soon because I start my new job tomorrow as I'm filming this so I'll actually get to wear actual clothes every day to work rather than a uniform and the first thing I picked up from Leicester Hospital's charity shop and this was three pound i think and it's just this it's either a long smock top or dress but i really like the pattern and i thought it is long enough it comes down to my knees and i thought i would probably belt it and see how that looks but yeah i just really liked the print on it so when we went up to beaumont lee's yesterday to get lunch on our way back from the hospital i had a quick look in the aguk shop <laughs> And I picked up this skirt. Now, I wouldn't normally buy something like this because it is 100% polyester and I hate the feel of polyester. But I just couldn't resist how Christmassy it is. It's got an elasticated waist and, yeah, what more can I say? This was £3 and it gave me all the Christmas feels. I then spotted this top. Now, I didn't even look at the brand or anything on this. And when I did get it home, it says that it's Tabitha Webb. Now, from looking online, Tabitha Webb is quite an expensive brand and it's not one that I'd ever heard of. But it's just this little top. As you can see, it is roll neck, which I'm obsessed with. And it just has these little dogs with antlers on it. And, yeah, I think I paid... Actually, it's still got the tags on. Yeah, I paid £3 for that. And like I say, I can't find this exact top or any in this style, but a lot of her knitwear goes for like £300. 
So I don't know how much this would have been, but I love it and it's such great quality. It's really thick and I can't wait to wear that under here. Now, the last two pieces I think are possibly my favourite this month. I have said before, and I may make a whole video on this, but I am trying where possible. I don't know what's going on with my fringe. I'm trying where possible to focus more on quality pieces. So instead of buying two and three pound dresses spending a little bit more but making sure they are really good quality and so this piece definitely fits the bill for that it's from scope in leicester and it was six pound fifty and it's this white white stuff dress and it just it has pockets and it has this beautiful fl it's floral but it also almost looks like snowflakes to me so it's like flowers but in a like bouquet but i thought it looked like snowflakes it has these three little buttons down the back and I just thought this is going to be a perfect work dress for me. I did also buy a pair of boots from Leicester Hospital's charity shop but unfortunately they didn't fit so they've gone back in my char charity shop bag and the circle of life continues. But the last thing that I picked up and these were from the Loras Reuse shop and it is these white Converse. So I am fully repping the Loras brand here. Now these were £10 that I paid for these but they are just in immaculate condition and especially in the summer, spring, summer and autumn I live in Converse so I thought they were a really good investment. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing today all of the things that I've bought in the charity shops this month. I don't know when I'll next have a charity shop haul because I am now broke. So... <laughs> um. I will keep going with my weekly vlogs, which I hope you're enjoying. If you haven't seen them, I will link the latest one up here. And until next time, look after yourselves. Bye.